Brandon Blackstock, Kelly Clarkson's ex-husband, has been ordered to pay her $2.6 million in restitution for unlawful business dealings. Kelly Clarkson has won a court victory after her ex-husband Brandon Blackstock overcharged her as her manager in multiple business transactions, according to court documents obtained by Fox News Digital. A California labor commissioner found that Blackstock must pay the breakaway singer $2,641,374 for overstepping his managerial duties and unlawfully obtaining arrangements. During her time as her manager, Blackstock made decisions that should have been handled by her agent. Clarkson was ordered to pay the former American Idol winner's ex more than $2.6 million in fees from contracts with The Voice, Billboard Music Awards, The Kelly Clarkson Show, Norwegian Cruise Line, and others. Under the Talent Agencies Act, a manager, like any person without a talent agency license, cannot procure or attempt to procure employment for artists, the court document stated. In the lawsuit filed by Clarkson, a breakdown of the $2,641,374 that Blackstock owed to his former wife stated that he owed the following amounts for the unlawful gigs, $1,983,155.70 for her contract deal as a coach on The Voice, a promotional deal of $208,125 for Norwegian Cruise Line, $405,000 for collaboration with Wayfair, and $93.30 for the Billboard Music Awards. Blackstock's legal team has filed an appeal against the decision. The couple married in 2013, however they had previously known each other because Blackstock's father, Narvel Blackstock, runs the music management company that handled Clarkson beginning in 2007. Clarkson filed for divorce in 2020, and she's been in legal issues with the two Blackstock men ever since. The divorce was finalized last year, with Clarkson obtaining primary physical custody of their two children, River and Remington but still paying $45,000 in child support to their father. A court dispute over Narvel's business is ongoing. Narvel sued Clarkson in 2020 for allegedly failing to pay the management company their rightful commission. He said she owed him $1.4 million as well as $5.4 million for future commission as part of their original agreement that she would pay 15% of her earnings to the company.